Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Quip. Today we're gonna use a brand new YouTube video. Today's video is a story time with a 100 kill gameplay that I recorded for this video. Uh, this happened about three months ago, so I think it's okay to talk about now. Uh, this is a story on how and why I got swatted. Uh, this happened on April 23rd of this year. Now, I have been swatted one time before this, but I wasn't at my home. Uh, this was at a local event in Boston in like 2014, 2015. I actually uploaded that story time to my YouTube way back in the day. Now time to get into the swatting that happened a couple months ago. Uh, it was just a normal day on stream. I was chilling, playing ranked play with a few homies. Um, while I was playing, I was streaming this. I'll put up a few clips uh, throughout the video to show you guys. Uh, kind of the uh, sequence of events that happened. Um, luckily, I had my window open as it was April. It wasn't too, too hot out. Uh, so, you know, got a nice breeze inside my room while I was gaming. Um, so I heard the cop sirens uh, through my window. And I kept just poking my head out. I was like, what's going on? Like, is someone, am I getting swatted? Is something happening with my neighbor? So I kept kind of just poking my head out. Um, I really didn't think it was for me because it never really happened to me before, like at my house. And I also only had like 60 to 80 viewers at the time. So I was like, why am I getting swatted type of deal? <laughs> but uh, anyways, when I was looking at my window, I kept seeing the cops like looking towards my house. So I really thought it was for my neighbors, to be honest with you, because they weren't like in front of my house. They were on the, like both sides of them. And there was probably like, I want to say at least 10 cop cars uh, right outside my crib. So what I ended up doing is I went downstairs. Uh, luckily, my stepdad was home. Uh, we ended up closing all our windows because a few months back, uh, the police were, like, searching around our neighborhood, like, through our yard and stuff for a missing person or something like that. Um, so we ended up closing all our windows just in case, you know, there was a shooting or bullets were flying or, you know what I mean? Like, just in case. So we were just chilling in the basement just in case, you know, like I said, bullets were to be fired. We're in safe underground. So, like, after, like, five to ten minutes, uh, nothing really happened, but we could hear the cops talking uh, over like the microphone or whatever to try to talk to us but you couldn't really hear him because like i said we were in the basement so we ended up calling the uh, local pd to see what was going on uh long story short they named me said i had to go outside my hands up immediately um or they're about to kick down our door raid our home and clear out the house so i went outside slowly with my hands up had to lift up my shirt walk backwards and they ended up handcuffing me by the way i was shitting my pants uh because I probably had like 20 AR-15s pointed at my head. They had riot shields. They had the whole deal. Like so many cops there from three different towns around me um, at the scene. So all my neighbors were outside watching. Probably thought we did some crazy shit. Even neighbors like across the street. Like we live in like an intersection. So people like across the street were even out their house. Outside their house like looking at us. Like it, it was crazy. But so they ended up clearing our house. When we were outside I didn't really say anything at first. I was kind of shit in my pants like I said. But I ended up asking like what the call was for. And they said uh, somebody was obviously anonymously called uh, our local police department and said uh, I had my mother and a 12-year-old girl hostage and I was ready to shoot up the home. And by the way, my mom wasn't even home. There was no girls at my house at the time. Um, I don't have any sisters, nothing like that. So, like, nothing happened with that. They cleared the home. Nobody else was in the home. Just me and my stepdad were home. Uh, it was a very uh, scary situation, um, but they ended up unhandcuffing me and getting some my information down, trying to figure out who who would do something like this but after some research i ended up finding out who did this uh which i'll not name but i'll put a screenshot up of what they posted on their ig story i have no idea why they did this to me and i don't think they got caught either because the local pd hasn't reached back out to me or nothing like that um after this ha incident happened i kind of went out and you know drank a little bit you know i was trying to it was kind of like a crazy situation because like i said it never happened to me before i was kind of just mind blown in a way like i didn't really think that would ever happen to me personally um but that's just scary man i'm just glad nobody got hurt and i'm glad everything is good now um if you guys do enjoy the video please drop a like comment subscribe if you guys like these kind of videos peace